Hi, my name is Kara, and welcome to another tutorial by Presenter Media. Today we're going to be talking about adding an audio file to a slide that already has video, or a template that has video running in the background. As you can see with the slide that is currently playing, we did have those buildings come up right behind our character there. What we'll be doing is focusing on the next slide, which has the same buildings. The only problem is there's no sound with them and there's nothing in front of them to really draw the attention away from just those buildings while we're waiting. This animation takes roughly 10 seconds to be able to complete so we'll want to make sure that we have an audio file to play with it that's going to be able to keep the viewers attention and be able to be as enjoyable for them to see it as it was for us to create. Our first step will be to move to our slide that we want to be able to change our next step will be going to our insert tab. This is the third from the t left on the top. And if you just notice how we scroll down all the way to the right there as we move across all of our icons, we're going to stop at audio. In my case, I'll be selecting a clip art audio, which is already included with Microsoft PowerPoint 2010. In your case, you may choose to select an audio from a file that's already existing, or you can even record your own audio. For us, we're going to go ahead and grab Ray of Light. It's just a little audio file here. We'll be inserting it into this clip page. Let's shrink this icon down a little bit. And we're going to change the volume just because I know from past experience this is a little bit on the loud side. Now if we want to see what the problem is most commonly, we'll play the show for you so you can see. So the buildings are going up and we still have no audio. We have to go over and actually click on that little icon in order to have any kind of sound in the background. Now while this may work for us while we're doing our preview mode, if you don't have access to a standard point and click mouse, you may have a more difficult time getting over to that icon. So what we'll do is select the icon and then we'll move to the top of the page. You'll see the option called playback under your audio tools. Audio tools are always selected whenever you are selecting an audio file within your PowerPoint slideshow. Under your playback option, you have your option to start. In this case, we want it to say automatically instead of on click. This will be able to tell the audio file to start right away as soon as it's laid enough into the PowerPoint to be able to do this. The next step that we'll be doing is telling that audio file just how far in we want it to start. So we'll go ahead and we'll move over to the option called Animations now. Animations are six tabs in from the left. And you'll be able to see all the various animations you can have happening just for that one item. Now granted these are visual animations just for that speaker. What we'll be looking for is the animation pane. It's farther to the right. Now what you'll see when we have this selected is you'll see layout with a title and a layout with a body in our case. You may see some additional animations that occur if you have different master slides or different templates that we provide. There will be a drop down box selected and ready for your use. What you want to do is go to the start with previous instead of starting it after the previous. This will tell your music to start at the same time as the title and the body in this particular case so we can go ahead and listen to the audio as we're viewing the PowerPoint itself. I'll go back up to the top slide here so I can show you the slideshow as, as a complete item. Now remember we did not put any kind of audio in the first slide. This is just so you can see how the buildings are going up in the background and to remind you that this is about adding audio to slides that have video or templates that already have video on them. And now it's time to move on to our next slide. From what you can hear in the background, we have success. We're hearing the music that's playing. It's just about the same length as what this particular video is, only a few seconds shorter. But this is able to keep your audience's attention, both visually and audibly. Thank you very much for watching the tutorial today for the 2010 Microsoft PowerPoint adding audio files to a file containing video or a template containing video. Next up will be the how to add the audio files to 2007, so if you're wondering about that, that'll be coming up next. Thanks for listening.